Okay, this poem is entitled, My Mother's Home. It's never far to my mother's home, and the way is filled with signs. The path bears many telltale marks of footprints, hers and mine. Each hill and valley and winding curve has a story of time to lend, and the miles are short when I go forth to the home of my mother, my friend. The days are always bright and fair when I on my mother would call, who's been a friend in times of stress and stood by through it all. Though skies are drear and clouds hang low and the outlook drab and gray, there's a radiant glow at my mother's home that drives the gloom away. Time never drags at my mother's home and the hours are filled with joy. She pictures me as I was in the past a carefree laughing boy. My face always wears a pleasant smile as the long years brightly blend in a wealth of treasured memories at the home of my mother, my friend. And that's that. <laughs> that was a poem entitled My Mother's Home. And I always winded up coming back to my mother's home. Here it is, I'm 37, not 38 as I've been telling people because I thought I was 38. But I'm 37 years old, and I'm now living in my mom's yard in, her, in a trailer in the backyard. But my uncle has a trailer now. It's his trailer. He lets me live in it. It's a um, travel trailer. Excellent thing, though. In a lot of my segments, you see that trailer. Um, not in this. This, I just really started this. So, um, But in previous videos, if you go to YouTube, uh, which you'll see this on YouTube predominantly, um, excerpts on my MySpace, but mostly on YouTube, you'll see this. Um, but um, you'll see the trailer because I have a lot of different things on there, you know. To get to know the, the, to get to know the poet, that's what I want. For you to get to know who I am. And what I do is I, I put my life as an open book. You know, I don't really have anything to hide. I don't think I do, at least. You know, if you know that you have something to hide and it's deep inside of you, and then you voice it, then, hey, cool, you know, I think that there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I don't have anything to hide, so I pretty much, you know, I don't, I don't know, you know. But everyone has something to hide, that's what they say. They definitely, everyone has something to hide. Well, I just put my, I put myself on an open book. Uh, it's called An American Under Attack, and it's in four segments now. I'm going on the fourth segment, then it's going to continue, hopefully up to like maybe hopefully 12. I want to get a volume. That's what I want. I want a 12 volume thing. I don't know why that number 12 sticks with me, but that's what I want. 12 books. You know, just do it like that and leave it like that. But, um, so that was my mother's home. Now I shall give you another poem. Um, I think I'm going to give you one called Memory of My Mother. It's a very nice poem, and it follows in line, so I think that'll be good. So the next poem is entitled Memory of My Mother. Okay? So I'll see you with Memory of My Mother. Oh, she's a fantastic woman, by the way. Mm. Memory of My Mother.